And yeah, there you go. So now what we need to do is from these endpoints, we're going to make a request to each one of those. So this larvalabs.com, that's going to be the start of the URL. So we're going to say URL equals that. Then we're going to remove the training slasher. So then we're going to say for attribute endpoint and attribute endpoints. We're going to say full URL is equal to URL plus attribute endpoint. And then we're going to make a request to this URL. Request dot get full URL. And then from that response, we're going to get the text from that response. And then we're going to store it into a file. So what we're going to say is uh, we're going to create a new folder called Let's call it attribute uh, pages. And then, and then what we're going to do is say content is equal to rest.txt. And then, then we're going to store it into a file. Uh, so we're going to say with open attribute pages. And then we're going to call this, okay, so we want to call it the file that's, um, you know, we, we want to call it like blondeshort.txt or cowboyhat.txt. So how could we get that data from, from here? Well, I think we could just get it from the links. So inspect that. Yeah, we just get the text, the inner text of this element. So I'm trying to remember how we do that. How we get the inner text. I believe we just say dot text, I think. Uh, so to get that, all right, we're gonna change this to a dictionary. And then instead of appending, let's see, that's the attribute endpoint. And we're going to call this the attribute. It's going to be the a tag.txt. Then attribute endpoints. And we're going to say um, attribute. is equal to attribute endpoint. Okay. So we're going to say for attribute, attribute endpoint, and attribute endpoints items. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to say file name is equal to attribute. We're going to lowercase it. And then we're going to replace. Uh, we're going to replace the underscore, or no, a space with an underscore. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh yeah, and then plus the text extension. So let me say file name. As f. Say f dot rate content f dot close. All right. So we need to import this requests library. Let's just see what happens. It's probably going to mess up, but um, 
We're going to try it. No such file. Oh, because we forgot to add this guy right there. Now we're going to try it again. Okay, how are we so far? Okay, we got alien here, perfect. Ape, perfect. Beanie, great. Doing all right so far. It's a lot of data. Okay. So I believe that's it. Okay, so we have this problem, right? Too many requests. We need to determine how many of these too many requests things we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what, a quicker way would just be to iterate over this and then what we're going to do in this case is we're going to use a VPN. Uh, so a VPN is going to allow us to make more requests to this server. Uh, so I'm going to turn that on. And what we're going to do this time is, let's see, instead of writing um, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to open this file first and we're going to determine if it says too many requests. And if it does, then we're going to make a request. So. Let's see. So I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna take this file name and stick it right there. So I'm gonna say with open. This guy. Then, let's see, we're going to say um, attribute page content is equal to f dot read. Then we're going to say if too many requests in the attribute page content. see we're going to say if if it's not in here if it's not let's see then we're going to continue otherwise we're going to say, or, yeah, we're just going to call this attribute page content. Or, that doesn't even matter. So then we're going to get that. 
full URL, get the content, and then we're going to rewrite that file. Uh, so let's hope we're going to say print rewriting. Uh, let's call this that would be attribute. Okay. Cow cowboy hat while blonde. Straight hair blonde. All right. You should probably should have put in something that said or that would print out, you know, too many requests. But we didn't do that, so whatever. We're likely going to have this same problem again, but with fewer. And luckily, we have another VPN, so we're good. Okay. So we're going to cancel out of that. We're just going to see if there are any uh, let's call this attribute. We're just going to print out to the screen to see if there are still any too many request objects. Okay, so we still have some for about, or let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so we have 20. So luckily we have another VPN. So we're going to comment that out, uncomment this stuff. And let us switch to our other VPN. Great. And temporary failure. Why? That's the first time we've seen that. It's interesting. Let's try it again. Okay. Oh wow, it's taking a while. This VPN is kind of far away, so apologies. Not. I'm kind of hungry, but I don't know what to eat. All right, so I think we, let's try this again to see if we have any blank ones again. And we got it all. So, hell yeah. That's all I got to say.